Today I'm going to teach you how to perform an on-prem installation of the latest version of Tenable Identity Exposure. This will be broken down into four videos based on the architectural requirements for Tenable Identity Exposure. The first server that we'll be focusing on is what we call the Storage Manager Server. And the first thing you should always do when um, doing a fresh install of Tenable Identity Exposure on-prem is confirm that you have the three required drives on that's required for Storage Manager. So let's go ahead and do that now. And you can see that we have dedicated um, drive for our database partition, our database logs, and also tempdb. Now, these sizings will be based on the sizing guide um, that's uh, located on uh, the documentation page for Tenable Identity Exposure and should be um, sized appropriate for your environment. The next thing you want to do is start with making sure that your AV EDR software has been either put in bypass mode or temporarily disabled for the install. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and reboot the server so that we are starting with a fresh clean server. We do perform a check to see if the server has been rebooted within the last 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and reboot the server. Now that we rebooted the server, let's go ahead and log in and kick off the install. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the directory where I downloaded the Tenable Identity Exposure software. Um, and then we're going to right click and run as administrator. And we're going to uh, specify English for our uh, language. Go ahead and click next. Just go ahead and pick the default um, where we're not gonna do expert mode. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And at this screen, we want to deselect some components so that they'll be installed at a later date. So we're going to say entire feature will be unavailable for security engine node and for directory listener. So now we should only have the storage manager components, which include the SQL and the event log storage. So go ahead and select next. And here you're going to create a password for um, your SQL SA account. Remember this is Microsoft SQL, so the password limitations um, do require, do remain for SQL as well. Once you've entered your password, make sure you record that. You'll need it um, for the next installation. As well as now we want to select our disk drives of where we're going to um, select for our database. So my database is going to reside on E. My database logs files are going to be on F. And my temp is going to be on G. Again, make sure that that's appropriate for your environment but that's how my environment is. Once we can do that, we can go ahead and click next. And then we can go ahead and uh, click install. So here's where I'll go ahead and stop the video and then we'll come back um, because this installation should take anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and we'll come back once um, we complete the install. Welcome back, we completed the install and now all we need to do is reboot the server.
All right, the server's rebooted. So now let's go in and verify a few services and then put our um, EDR software back into a normal uh, mode. So let's go ahead and log back into the server. And we're gonna open up services on the box. And the first service that we're going to check is for the Alcid underscore event log storage one and make sure that it's running. And then we can just type in S for SQL and that'll drop us down to um, the S's in the services. And now we want to focus on the SQL services. So we can see SQL Server Tenable and SQL Server Agent Tenable is running on the machine. And that's all that's needed for Storage Manager. So Stay tuned for part two, where we'll install the security engine node components um, in our next feature. Thank you.